Available now at your video retailer. Academy Award nominee Anthony Hopkins stars in Blunt, The Fourth Man. In 1951, two trusted members of the British intelligence defected to Russia. They were a part of the notorious Cambridge spy ring organized in the 1930s by Anthony Blunt. Blunt eluded detection until his confession of treason in 1964. His crafty immunity deal with the government was exposed in 1979, creating an international scandal. Anthony Hopkins' wrenching performance helps bring this true story of spies, treason, and international intrigue into shocking focus and relentless suspense. Available now at your video retailer, Barry Bostwick and Kim Darby star as a married couple who hire a teenage live-in babysitter for their two young children. Plain and unassuming at first, the young girl soon begins a sinister manipulation of the family. Suspenseful and seductive, Summer Girl will keep you on the edge of your seat. Available now at your video retailer, Bob Denver and Alan Hale Jr. star in Rescue from Gilligan's Island. All the zany characters you've loved for years are back. Join Gilligan, the Skipper, and all the rest for a hilarious voyage through tidal waves, sharks, and foreign spies in their wildest, wackiest adventure ever. Available now at your video retailer. Paul Sorvino, Michael Learned, and Adam Arkin star in It Couldn't Happen to a Nicer Guy. Paul Sorvino is Harry, a middle-aged family man whose life is no more exciting than Monday night meatloaf. Destiny strands Harry on a lonely road where he's picked up and raped by a beautiful young woman. Follow Harry through his touching and hilarious attempts to prove himself a victim to his wife, son, and the rest of the world. Stay tuned immediately following our feature presentation for an exciting special offer. And now, our feature presentation.
I think you found a friend for the night. No, not the whole night. I should be a commitment for our Jack. <laughs> They probably don't even know each other. That's so old. Yeah? Anyway, I think number five is much more plus. She looks intelligent. This is not the greatest place to bring our daughter. Why are you jealous? Well, don't you wish that when you patented an invention that you could pick out some lovely female out of an adoring crowd? Hmm? I'd always pick you anyway. Why did you say the right thing? You haven't mentioned your job all day. I'm oh, great. You have to bring I it up. I don't know what to do with all this attention. I think you should have picked number five. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> yeah, probably right. Come on, kiddo. Who's around the ice? Uh, hey, watch the glass. Jack, she's had enough excitement for one night. Ah, here's a treat. Ladies and gentlemen, the Jackal's niece. Bell free. Do you think that he's doing that just for Bell, or he's trying to take another shot at his big brother? <laughs> Honestly, Alan, you too. I've never seen such competition. Look, as tough as he is, he loves playing uncle. Spoiled your surprise. What? A new company you're with? In the tech world? Well, they challenged me to a game against some guy wearing new electronic equipment. It's your invention, right? That hockey suit you've been designing? When? Oh, come on, brother. No, I didn't know anything about this. It's not ready for demo, Jack. It's dangerous. <laughs> to who? To me or to you? I mean, you've been wanting to beat me at something for how many years? I want you to tell that guy who's going to suit up and wear that on the ice against me. I want you. I want you to just pass this along to him. And back in the game, Jack Breed, number 22, the man in charge tonight. and only we know when it's ready for demo, and it is not. It's dangerous. <laughs> What's more dangerous than combat hockey? Your brother and his team went right for it. They don't know what they're going for, George. Do you? Huh? Terry. Come here. Turn in here. Now, give me something. Here, what do we got? Here. Okay, now. Just grab that. Nothing, huh? No. Now, 
we didn't rush this prototype so that you could get it on the ice against other players. Hey, we were talking about uses for the disabled and the paralyzed, and that's the kind of testing... Yes, of course, Alan. But let the other divisions move ahead with their plans. We'll have a half a dozen uses for everything you invent here. You're not working your own small shop anymore, Alan. Join the world. It isn't safe, Raymond. We think it is safe. It makes a tough game a little tougher. George, this is not a little tougher. Tell us what precautions you would take. I'd cancel it. <laughs> Alan, short of that, anything. We could cut the power on the electronic motion enhancement. go at half power. And not a full game either. Two out of three goals. It's not up to him. George. <sighs> Two out of three goals. There you go, Alan. Honey, he'll be here. I'm sorry. Christmas Eve, Daddy. We're crushed. Hey. So I was sorry. Hmm. Come on, Professor. I don't know all the circuits for a four-way big call. Uh, I've shown you this before. Okay. Uh... All you breeds can get along for once? We try. <laughs> once a year. Mom, please don't say anything in Spanish. Grandpa gets mad. If I keep speaking Spanish, you might get used to it. Me entiendes? We are processing. Please hold. Yes, All right. Please stand by for your video connection. Well, here we are. Take a bell. How you doing? Plus ten, Grandpa. Hey, old coach, you're looking as mean as ever. Well, I could still take you one-handed. Roma, I hope we didn't get you in the middle of an operation. Oh, yes, I'm doing one right now. Whoops, sorry. <laughs> you look good, Roma. Oh, yeah, uh, how have you been, Roma? All right? Fine, Dad. Next time, don't hit him so hard, Mom. You might fracture a rib. She didn't hit me, did you, Alan? <laughs> She didn't. Hey, Kate, how come Alan's looking so flat tired? Or is that age? Hey, have you looked in the mirror lately, Scarface? Roma, every time I try to be civil... Well, if it's a big strain, Dad, then don't do it. Look, I thought it'd be nice if my daughter found some forgiveness for something that happened a long time ago. Kate? I watch your video class every day. I'm learning. Good. I'm starting something new once a week. She's joining an army. <laughs> Inner city rehab force. I'm going to be a block educator. Oh, I've heard about that, Katie. Alan, you're going to let her go into those neighborhoods. It's dangerous. Do you think those people want to learn? Typical, Dad. You're down on everybody. Stop it, please. I know it isn't much, but it is our family gathering. It's the last Christmas before the year 2000. Do you know how long I waited for the year 2000? She's always talking about it. It's a fresh start. A new beginning. And I won't have us going into it fighting and apart. Now, let's start this call all over again. Tom? Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Feliz Navidad. Merry Christmas. Happy new century. Emergency. Please lock. We've got an emergency. I've got to go. Yeah, I really ought to go too, Mom. No, no. Please, please, hold on. I want to invite you all to our home for the eve. When the year 2000 comes, we want our family to be together. And not on a screen. Next week. Please. Rama, 
We want all our children to be with us. Emergency, please lock well, in. I really can't say now. I have to go, Mom. Merry Christmas. Kathleen exploded. Oh, those holiday phone calls can be the worst. Are we finished stocking up your plasma instruments? Are we fully supplied? Yes, doctor. I hope you won't regret being assigned to Dr. Ice. What, are you kidding? She's the best. Oh, well, under that crisp uniform of hers is another crisp uniform. <sighs> I'm sorry, Clara. It's all right. Merry Christmas, Doctor. <laughs> yeah, sort of. You could have introduced me. Oh, for God's sakes, Anne. Nothing normal, Jack. Hey, everybody, this is Anne. She's with me tonight. That's all. Nice party. Merry Christmas. It's all languorous. Yeah. Let's see here. I I don't see the mining colony. It's just west of the moon colony. Yeah? Well, they'll be putting the medical buildings. And we'll all be working in 2015. Ah. It's just so far away. I'll video call. I know. It's not the same. It's just not the same. <laughs> you know, I miss you already. Wish I was home more. I don't like you being here alone so much. Dad, I'm all right. I'm not a kid. They should invent a new word. I'm fellow breed. Future woman. But you can call me F.W. F.W., huh? <laughs> Sounds phenomenal. It is phenomenal. Is it? Uh-huh. Good. Is this present for you or for me? Trust them? Oh, Kate. You're working so hard for them, Alan. Double time. We never see you. I am still new there. You know, and there's certain things you just I'm have... I'm just afraid they're cashing in on you, that's all. And why the big rush to finish her anyway? I suppose that they see some big gift potential in Pal. Everyone should have a Pal with ten encouraging things to say. 
Whatever you say is fine. <laughs> and what do you see in her? I see skin. It is going to revolutionize artificial limbs. Come here, feel this. That's your priority, not theirs, Alan. Kate, instead of these warnings, how about a little joy, huh? Some congratulations. Do you realize that my work is going to reach one billion people now in an instant? Do you know how hard I... Do you know how hard I've worked for that? The little pieces of me now that are beginning to be accepted like never before. I'm important there, Kate. I need it. And I don't know why, but you are I'm const- I'm what? Not enough of a cheerleader. Not enough of a rah-rah. Everything's fine. They're taking all your time, Alan. Our time. And they're taking all your dreams and they're turning- Look, I am not tearing down your new work in the neighborhood, am I? You so don't why? even know what I'm doing there. You haven't the time to find out. I think it's fine what you're doing. You don't hear me trying to talk you out of it, do you? I don't hear you talk about it at all. We work for you all we got were tofu sandwiches and the use of the family bathroom. Uh-huh. And you hogged them both. Wait, wait. <laughs> Is this Henderson? <sighs> yeah, that's Henderson. Big, large. I'm gonna talk to him. He looks angry, Alan. He does not look like a happy man. <clears throat> Henderson. I'm Alan Breed. I understand you're going up against my brother. Your brother and two of his teammates. I thought he better not fix me alone. Could get rough. Yeah. For them. How long you been working out with the hockey manager? I'm not supposed to talk about it. Talk to Terry Tanaka. She's in the tanning room. Ugh. And tell your brother to get his insurance together. Make a will. Hero talk. Terry. Oh, hi. I'd like to talk to you. About what? Henderson, the uh, gorilla out there. How long has he been working with the EME? I was on top of that part of the program. I'll get you a report, though. Good. Do that. What else can we do for you? Oh, I don't know. Maybe, uh, tofu sandwiches in the dining room and uh, their uh, plan for my office, uh, a cat, maybe. I'm glad you're with us. I like your mind. Nothing stuffy or corporate about Alan Green. Well, go on. What else do you like? I see a man coming into his own. It's exciting. Confidence is very sexy. Here, I thought nobody noticed. <laughs> Am I sounding like an idiot? Huh? Alan, let's always be honest. I'm a happily married woman. But my marriage allows for romantic affairs for me and my husband. It's our way. In case we were thinking the same thing. My name is Kate Mendez Breed, and I'm your block educator. And this is a program of adult re education. But more than that... So how come it's you, the big, big teacher from the vid screen? We never saw your bottom half before. All right, ice up, Gila. You're right. I have three million students on video, but we're face-to-face -face now, Gila, so you can argue with me. So 
so we can work and try to change this place. What's wrong with it? It's paradise, woman. <laughs> well, nowadays, poor means information poor. And the world runs on data. The truth is you don't have it and you aren't sure how to get it. That's where I come in. I can get you access. I can help you try and understand the big ones. The war in Mexico, for instance. ¿Y qué importa? Yo ya soy americano. ¿Qué importa? Porque siempre aprendemos algo. It teaches us something. Start by asking questions. I probably won't have the answer today, but I'll have them next week. Guaranteed. How are we going to keep the street lights when the Apache gang keeps using them for target practice? We can get the unbreakable lamps. Just remember that this is your neighborhood. Neighborhoods are coming back all across the country. They're doing it block by block. But we've got to do it ourselves. The people of the trash street hood. Also, we can work out the little problems, like cockroaches. This place will be roach-free forever. I'll plug you into the eradication program. I'll get you re-education packs. Learning programs for over 2,000 jobs. You want them in fan... Copy this, Crusader woman. We garbage what you say, we trash your words, and we eat your sympathy and spit it out. I didn't say I You take your program and you vanish, or we send you back to Beverly Hills in three baskets. I'm not from Beverly Hills, but I'm from a part of Chicago that makes this look like Beverly Hills. We had gangs there, too. Scavenge gangs. Vultures. Nothing like the Trap Street Apache. We boss the streets. We rule the dance all night and the meals to go. We protect the vendors and we ghost the criminals and we squash all roaches, rats and fleas and any other parasite that crawls in here and tries to feed off this hood. You don't speak for everybody. Scrad, this has nothing to do with the Apache. It's good for the hood. The Apache says what is plus and what crawls. We say she crawls. Let's go. We can't just let them take over. Yes, we can. Word is out that there's going to be an action tonight with a rival gang. They're in a battle mood. So am I. Scrat! Who are you to say who learns here and who doesn't? Some of these people want me here. Who are you to come here and boss? I'm a teacher, not a boss. Teacher is boss. Cop is boss. Politician is boss. Don't do it here. Leave. Oh, my God. No, no, I'm all right. I'm, I'm all right. Take it back to Beverly Hills. Go on now. Go back to your car. Don't run or the chase you. But you're hurt. I'm all right. You can go. All right, I'll go. But I'll be back. You had no right! No right at all! Bullet. It's hit a rib. 
Listen to me. When you wake up, you're going to join the Boy Scouts, and you're going to learn how to sell insurance. Well, it might help. They do hear us even when they're out, you know. Why not? It's okay. <laughs> You hope you are intruding, but I'm alone. You're alone, alone too much. much. <laughs> That's true. You know, after my kind of work, I like alone. What can I get you? Not a thing, thank you. It's funny. You'd think after all these years, I wouldn't miss the Illinois winters. But Christmas without snow. Mom, I know why you came here. I've been thinking about it. Roma. They're calling it the Great Eve with a capital G. Please come. Just for a little while. For midnight. For the passing of the millennium. Forget about what happened. It was four years ago. How long? I can hardly remember. Oh, I can. I can remember every word. I can even remember what I was wearing, what everybody was wearing. You had that really beautiful turquoise dress. Roma, please. You looked beautiful. Do you still wear it? We were in the kitchen. And he called Kate. That Mexican. Oh, don't, honey. We'll never forget it. But we can set it aside. I said he was a bigot. And he, he slapped me so. First he hit me with his eyes. Like he hated me. No. And then with his hand. Before I even saw him move. Four years, Rona. It still stings. And he's so proud of you. He says, my daughter's a surgeon. I never heard that. Not once, Mom. I never heard, I'm sorry. All I ever heard was, this is my house. So I said, fine. I'll never walk into it again. Roma, it isn't just for him or for me. It's for you. I'm afraid. Afraid? What are you afraid of? You are so much like him. I'm what? I'm like him? <gasps> what a thing to say to me. I hate what he is. I hate what he believes in. I hate his narrowness, and I hate his anger. How can you say that to me? I happen to love my work. And what else do you have? You're just like him. His work ate him up. He didn't have any room for us. He pushed us aside. He didn't mean to. And then the work ended, and he had nothing. And what about you, Roma? Do you let people in? Are you happy, honey? Do you let yourself love? I don't believe that you're comparing me to him. It's wrong. I haven't seen you cry in four years. Now, if I'm so wrong, then why are you crying? And who else could carry a grudge and hurt so deep for so long? Only you and your father. Please, Roma. Please come.
I don't like it anymore. What? The stream. <sighs> it's been. Do you have a jungle? <laughs> I have a jungle. She bothers me. Yeah, well, that's my brother's idea of a joke. Well, I think it's weird. Well, we could go for a drive to the desert. The real desert? Mm-hmm. So what's the rush? I had a really good time, Jack, but I have to go. Thanks, pal. So you've got my number, right? Mm-hmm. Mind if I take some more, please? Sure. Thanks. And you made it with the whole team yet? No, you made it with the whole fan club yet? Go ahead, I'll let myself out. Hello. Hi, Jack. Hey, Mama, what's active? I'm just calling about the Eve. Calling it the Grady. Oh, yeah, yeah. Look, we're definitely doing the mega party, Mom. It's going to be the wildest party we've ever had. On a mountain, the top took a whole chalet. All the team, all the girls. Can't miss it, Mom. Jack, Roma said she might come. First time in four years. And Alan's family is coming. It means so much. Hey, we're going to be up on that mountain for a couple days, Mom. I just can't miss it. Sorry. Jack? Hey, it's the old coach. How you doing, Dad? What's active? This eve means a lot to your mom and to me, too. Hey, hey, hey. come on. What am I, 10 years old? Home with the parents on New Year's Eve? Give me some air, will you? I play hard. I party hard. I need to. Look, I'll see you after the first, all right? I'll come by. OK, son. You're wonderful. Wonderful. Are you knocking at my door? Yes. Ten is my lab. We got a flash you wanted access. What are you doing with Cal? Doing with her. Yeah, doing with her. Someone moved her. We're always moving things around in here. What did you see? I saw Pal. And she didn't look anything like the prototype that I gave you. It's probably just a mannequin. We have 108 projects in development here besides your pal. 
I'll get you a report. Yeah. Alan. Tomorrow I'm watching the Hockey Man demo on TV. I've taken one of the company apartments downtown for the night. Come watch with me, will you? Yeah. Well, I'll see. And then... And then, uh... Stay the night. If you can. If you want to. Let me know. I hated broccoli. You cooked it for me anyway. You said it was good for me. I should eat it. Take the wrong day to come home for lunch, huh? I just can't shake what happened yesterday. Wasn't your fault, Kate. I'm just glad you got out of that neighborhood intact. I'm not intact. starting the prelims for Jack's game. Tom, you've seen every game that boy has played since Little League. Oh, this is different. He's playing the hockey man gimmick. It's 
screen freak. What? People like you, who don't move from their sets, that's what they're calling them, screen freaks. What's the matter with you? Roma called. She's not coming for the Eve. Well, we'll still have Alan, Kate, and Belle. If you had asked her... Well, you know she won't talk to me. If you had tried... What am I supposed to do, beg her? Yes. Well, I can't, I won't. They should come here because they want to. I mean, don't they see? They know how much it means to you. They know how much you want your children. Look, I'd drag them here for you if I could. But I can't. For me? What about for you? Don't you want your kids here? All in one room, a family? Well, of course I do, Ellen. I mean, all those years, I remember all of us together, laughing, laughing till it hurts. Did I make it up? Did it really happen? Of course I want them here, Ellen. That's all they need to hear. Well, they've already made up their minds. Well, over there, it's Jack Green and his teammates awaiting the entrance of Tech World Hockey Man. A new dimension of speed and power, it says here. We'll have to wait and see. What's the matter, Mrs. Breed? Oh, nothing, John. I just wanted the next thousand years to be different. Welcome. Thank you. Come on in. Stop the jackal. Because Henderson's a third rate no class and I don't care what kind of garbage she puts on. Let's go get him. Come on, go.
That's it. Short and sweet. And where were the safety precautions? Hmm? Where? That was full power. I didn't agree to cut the power. Alan, it all worked out. My work, my design, and you rushed into demo and you put people in danger. And you lied to me. What do you have to complain about? Oh, nothing. You couldn't buy this kind of press for your invention. I want a meeting. All divisions. I want a meeting tomorrow. You'll have it, Alan. Good. Raymond? Yes. Well, we'll clear the calendar. We'll try for after lunch. Calm down, Alan. Yeah. I'll see you then. We heard Jack. He's all right. <laughs> yeah, he'll be all right. Alan. One quarter of the population of the world saw your work in action. Terry, he is my brother. We hurt him. We almost killed him out there. He's fine. He's fine. They're players, Alan. They know the game. Please. No more thinking now. Let's leave it behind, can you? I'm going to go, Terry. So soon. <sighs> Leave me something to go to sleep with? I smell beer. You know... <clears throat> how long it has been... since I sat in a bar... alone... for hours. I was thinking... I also smell a woman. Were you with the woman tonight? Almost. Almost. Who? It doesn't make any difference. I just... want to be honest. Tell you that I was... Uh, Um, I want to be honest, too, Alan. And maybe we are alone. Is she young? Okay. What do you want, Alan? A different body in bed? I want Kate. Where did she go? Where did Kate go? <laughs> Where did Kate go? She went to the city and she fell on her face and you weren't around, Alan. She got herself in the middle of a war, not a, a hockey game, not a, a corporate meeting. I'm talking about a war that came here to this house today and scared your daughter half to death. What are you saying? Here? Is Bill all right? She's fine. She's fine. 
They didn't get in. You see, they came here for me. I'm suddenly part of a battleground. And I'm scared. And I could use some support, too. But my husband is somewhere else with someone else. Why didn't you call? You know I would have come. You know that there isn't anything more important. We tried. Doesn't matter now any way we handled it. You know, um, I was hoping you'd come home tonight and you'd just hold me. But I think this is the way it's supposed to be for us, isn't it, Alan? Maybe this is what they're calling it now. Partnership. Sounds like a dance. Changing life partners. Well, sounds better than divorce anyway. Divorce sounds like an axe blow. <laughs> Partnership. Well, it's softer anyway. It still hurts. Hi, sis. Hi. Mm. Told you I was all right. That electronic animal did no permanent damage. It's a good thing he hit you in the head. Yeah, oh, he cracked the damn helmet. Yeah, Billy's got three busted ribs. He's going to be out for the rest of the season. I tell you, Roma, nobody skates that fast and hits that hard. And I'll take on anybody. No complaints if I lose. But this thing's not natural. It's not human. Calm down. I tell you, our amazing brother, egghead inventor, really stuck it to me this time, didn't he? In one day, in front of a billion people, he manages to humiliate me and everything that I stand for and almost kill me. Everything you stand for? Sports, Roma. Physical competition. He took the humanity right out of it. If anybody can strap on his electronic suit and be better than me, then what good am I? And people like me. We train all of our lives for what? For the machines to take over? You sound like Dad. Well? It's garbage talk. People build machines. They're just tools. People decide what they do and what they change. I use machines all the time that save people's lives. Some of them invented by that egghead brother of ours. Yeah, well, this was invented for just one reason, Roma. To cancel out Jack. <clears throat> Pretty tight security to crack for a toy factory. Lots of spying and stealing on this level, Alan. He'll get as paranoid as the rest of us. What can I do for you? I thought I was going to get a report on Pal today. You will, end of day. Now that you're here, why don't I show you some of our toys? Oh, uh, what's this? gets online, then we'll come out with a male sex pal. This has nothing to do with what I designed. Nothing! 
Of course not, and your name doesn't have to be connected with it. You follow up PAL's applications in prosthetics and robotics. And hockey man, we're going to challenge the best football players, the best boxers, and beat them. And maybe kill them, George. And pretty soon, whole teams will be wearing EME, fighting harder and faster, with more injuries. The public wants the toughest contest possible. You'll always find athletes willing to gamble. We have to move fast, Alan. Products like this will be out on the marketplace whether we sell them or not. So why not? The public gets what it wants. Tech world makes a profit. You get your bonuses. Who gets hurt? You're serious, aren't you? <sighs> Who gets hurt? <sighs> Give the public what it wants. No matter how dangerous, how ugly, make what sells, who gets hurt, we do. We surrender something to the gladiator mentality, to the pornographic mentality. We all become less. Alan, when you joined Tech World, these two designs became company property. There's no way to stop it. So let's not be enemies. And let's not be friends, Raymond. my own body, Alan, my own strength. This is my life's work. It's all I got, Alan. It's got bruises and it's got scars and it hurts like hell when the weather's damp. But this body makes a living playing three sports. It plays them good and it's all real. There. Now you've got the advantage. Come on, pick it up, strap it on, come at me, Alan. You finish the job you started. This is where I started the job, Jack. By watching you on the ice. Every move you made. Yeah, so you could nail me. No, not so I could nail you. Because you're the best. And when you're playing your game, and you're playing hard, you turn into something very, very special. I was never jealous of you, Jack, but sometimes I wanted to be you. Still do. Sometimes. I never meant for Hockey Man to face you or any other player. You are Hockey Man. The company set up the demo. I didn't know anything about it. When I found out, I should have stopped it, right? I didn't. Damn it. I love you, you dumb idiot, and I'm sorry. I'm sorry. So what the hell am I supposed to do now? I came in here to break your neck. <laughs> well, listen, hug. Hey, come on, what if somebody comes in?
A rematch. Oh, come on, man. How am I supposed to beat that, huh? How do you beat anybody? I'll skate them. I'll think them. I'll stick them, you know. Right, right, right. Study the weak points? Right, and I know every weak point and every strong point. I'll help you train. You think we can do it? Probably not. <laughs> <laughs> but we can try. We. That's cute, Alan. It's my head, my blood, huh? I'll get you different gear, better protection, anything. I won't have Cat get back in there with me this time. It's gonna have to be just me and Hockey Man. One on one. All right. You know, Alan, with your mind and all these crazy ideas. Well, sometimes over the years, sometimes. I wanted to be you. Tell me, teacher. What happened the last time the millennium turned in the year 999? Well, officially, the millennium begins next year. Oh, no. When I see all those nines change into zeros, now that's the new start. All right. In the year 999, the Vikings were raiding. The Chinese were inventing gunpowder. People were farming, eating, sleeping, getting married. Very few were getting divorced. They didn't live long enough. I thought you said it was the new job, that he was working too hard. That was last month. It's the work, Kate. The breeds will do that. They'll bury themselves. It's not the work anymore, Ellen. Then what? There's somebody else now. Or at least the beginning of it. He admitted it. You know, it all fits the plan. Who cares how easy they make it nowadays? It's something you've got to fight for. It's family. Family. Oh, Ellen. When Roma broke away, I made sure I held on to her because she's family. When Tom gets ugly about my heritage, I don't close the door because he's family. I love you breeds like my own. I love you blindly. But when I close my eyes, all I see is my husband with another woman. I hope you don't give up, Kate. I don't want to, but I, I won't pretend either. Ellen, we can't come here for New Year's Eve. Oh, no! You can't come here and pretend we're a happy family. But you've got to come. It's just two days off. Well, you're the only How one. How can we? It's such hypocrisy. I'm sorry. We have to work this out first. Ourselves. But he's not as good a player as either one of you. Look, the suit speeds the reaction. So make him react to the wrong move. Fool him. Fake him out. You think you can fake me out? All the games we played? I don't know. <clears throat> I'm hurt. Call it off. No! Let's try it. I'm not gonna help you murder yourself. For what, just because he beat you? No. Look, forget it. Party down hard tonight, like you do when we lose a game. Get a woman together, get the whole team together. Cat! You don't have to. 
to prove anything. Yes, I do. And they can't just roll over us, Cat. Yeah, all we are are blood, muscle, and bone. But that doesn't mean they can just take us out. Now, I need you to help me, partner. Because I don't want them just rolling over us like this. It was easy for them. It's too easy. unlock our doors, meet each other, trust each other a little bit, that's a beginning. That's the start of a real neighborhood. And what better way to start the new century? You could have a block educator, a block counselor. without the Apaches. Nobody asked. Hey, the signs were out, all invited. Permission! Nobody asked for permission. Whose neighborhood is this? Apaches! Who protects this neighborhood? Apaches! You don't protect anything. You go around hurting and breaking. You just won't let anything good happen here. We tried to have that block party and the Apaches ruined it all! Patrol, one niner, report to West Gate. One niner to West Gate. We'll be right nearby. You just stay put, okay? Thanks. I'll be fine. Bye, Bye now. Bye bye. Honey, I went to a meeting in the neighborhood. I'll be back at 10 or so. No sweets. No sweets till the weekend. That's our deal. Bye. What have you guys been listening to? Partnership beyond divorce. The uncoupling process without pain, without anger. When marriage ends... Alan Breed, please. All executive offices are closed. Suburban taxi. These are your people. They're our people. This is the hood talking. Why didn't you listen to what they say? They say they want this council. They want her. No outsider cares about the hood. Just another way for the city to watch us. The cops, the box, and nail us down. 
Look at her eyes. The witch wants us dead. She's the government. She's the bulldozers. The tax man, the welfare spy. All she really wants is nobody left to fight. She wants dead Indians. Don't you use that word with me. My name is Mendez, and in my blood is the blood of the Indian. And you think that just because you call yourselves Apaches that you can cash in on their spirit? What do you know about it? You want to learn, you come here one night a week, and we'll learn about the real Apaches. We'll learn about whatever you want, whatever you need to know, any of you. So what are you afraid of, Scrad? Knowledge? What? Information? What are you afraid of? My treat tonight? Find a place to sit. You should have set this up through the company, Alan. It's good corporate strategy. Your brother gets his rematch. We prove we're unbeatable on the ice. Alan's learning the game. Congratulations. Not yet. Raymond? No, thank you. OK. There's your new helmet. Right. It's a beauty. Cuts my vision a bit. Well. That's all right. Jack Freed, the challenger now. And the undefeated hockey man, Ken Henderson. Charge the ride to my number. Here, let me take you home. Let's go. Oh, man. Out, everybody up and out! Look, you don't have to leave! They can't make you leave. This council is dead and nailed. Out! I'm tired of it. I said out. Leave, Scrad. This place is ours. Let go! Let it go, Scrad. Break the kid, Scrad. Do it. You let her go. Or you kill me. Blood, Scrad. Slow people, soft people, weak as babies. The Apache don't hurt babies. The Apache step over you because you're low. And we don't even see you. We don't recognize this council. And you, there's no safe street for you in this hood or any other hood.
You thought he'd win, didn't you? It's not over yet. Give me your helmet! Jack! This one cut my vision! This one won't protect you. Care. Finish with it, man. All right, I think the world has had second thoughts about this hockey man idea. It is not a sports Superman. It is dangerous, and I do not want it marketed for that purpose. You wanted this to happen. What I want is veto power over any application you people come up with for my inventions. That is impossible. And. All these plans on sex, pal, I want them dropped now. Or else what, Alan? Are my designers and I walk. You have a contract. When you rushed ahead with your plans and you didn't tell me about it, I think you broke our contract. Now, you want to test that in court? You sue me. Raymond, we can't do business his way. Let him walk. We still have the EME suit and pal. I can't decide this. It has to go to the board. And what are they going to say, Raymond? Hmm? What's the computer going to say when they project my potential over the next 10 years? Can I give it a guess? All right. You're the new Flash here. You're still pure, but that can change. We'll see who goes the distance. You not only can play hardball, I think you invented it. I'm learning. Keep up your guard. George will be coming after you.
Me too. Please leave a message. Kate. I am just learning how hard you have to fight to get what you want. And I am going to fight like crazy to hold on to you, to hold on to both of us. Now I tell you, Kate, I am feeling like a winner, so I hope you're ready to fight too. And I will be home in, oh, damn it, right now. Uh, look, they were going to try to connect up the whole world with human chains, everybody holding hands with the Great Eve, across countries, boundaries. Too bad it flopped. Oh, not completely. It's going to be a chain of about a thousand somewhere across our border with Canada. And one in L.A., from the sea to downtown. I kind of like the symbol. It just seems a little sad, this great rush to connect, as if one night could change the whole world. Well, maybe it can. Isn't it just another night turning into just another day? To hold on to both of us. Now, I hope you're ready to fight, too, because I am in a fighting mood. And I will be home in... Oh, damn it. Right now. How did you know that I needed a hug? I needed a hug, too. So does Mom. You know, I was thinking of inventing a hugging machine once. Wouldn't be the same. Oh, I don't know. I could make it soft and uh, warm and, you know... Uh... That wouldn't help. No. Yeah, I guess you're right. Dad. Tell me you're not going away. I don't want to. Then don't. Mom? You with Mom today? In the neighborhood? Scary? Not as scary as this, Dad. You mean mom? You, uh, you get the message. Uh-huh. Both have been fighting so hard. But the battle is here. First.
pull her over. Pull this thing over. Okay, you people have a time, all right? Let's plus party ever. We got another place to go. Get out of here, man. Come on. Hello. Who can that be? I don't know. You get it. I can't, Tom. I'm digging out the shrimp. Please, Ellen, you get the door. Tom! What has gotten into you? Coming. Oh, it's right. I thought you weren't coming. I didn't know you weren't coming. Candy yeah, did you cake. That is special party. party. Sweetheart, how are you? Get in here, Rick. Pressure dropping, 98, 58. Is this the screamer? She was screaming because she can't die now. She said she had to see the year 2000, and I said she would, and she will. Pressure dropping, 96, just another 56. night. Clamp this. Clamp. Becoming just another day. No, and don't you say that. She can hear us, and I want no negative words filling her brain or her will. She hasn't given up hope, and neither have we. Pressure dropping. It's a new century in Paris, and half the world. Oh, we made it. Stabilizing, pressure rising. You hear me? It is almost midnight, and you are going to be alive in the next century, and so am I. Pressure stabilized. Good for you. Happy New Year. I don't believe it. Oh, I, I am so glad you're here. This is the mega party. <laughs> Thank you.
Your VCR is a major investment, and keeping it clean is important. But cleaning tapes can damage the recorder, and a repair shop can cost up to $60. But now, for the first time on television, you can have the revolutionary VCR cleaning kit that will save you hundreds of dollars. Introducing the Unitech Pro 2000, with step-by-step -step instructions that are so simple you can do it yourself, quickly, easily, and save. And for only $9.95 plus $3 shipping and handling, we'll rush your Unitech Pro 2000 out right away. Just call 1-800-777-8373 or write VCR, 433 West Wilshire Boulevard, Suite D, Oklahoma City, Oklahoma, 73116. Home entertainment equipment gets more sophisticated every day, and you need to keep yours in top shape. The incredible new Unitech Pro 2000 cleans your VCR, cassette recorders, answering machines, camcorders, reel-to-reels, 8mm, and yes, even 8-track stereos. Call right now, 1-800-777-8373, and take your home entertainment to a whole new level of enjoyment.